It's been a while since we checked in on the least repairable laptop we've ever seen. The first Surface laptop was a nightmare to tear down. We melted keys and tore the Alcantara cover, just trying to get it open. Things were so bad, we ended up scoring it a zero out of 10 for repairability. Now we've got Microsoft's latest laptop, the Surface Laptop 3, and today we're gonna tear it down. Fingers crossed no melted keys this time. It might look the same on the outside, but let's not judge things too quickly. Before we break out our ultrasonic cutter, let's do a little poking around to see if the opening procedure has improved. And it has. There's a screw underneath each foot and they seem to release the upper case. This is a major change from the last Surface laptop we tore down. After some preliminary poking around, our opening pick reveals yet another major change for the Surface laptop. The keyboard and upper case are not glued in place. Instead, they're held in place by a series of magnets. What a huge improvement. Like most Surface devices, pretty much everything inside is covered in metal shields. These shields are a bit of a pain to remove and you're required to bend them to the point of destruction to get them off. But once they're off, we can see what to disconnect next. What's this? It's a 128 gigabyte SSD that's held in place by only one screw. It seems SSD replacements or upgrades are gonna be a snap for the Surface Laptop 3. The heatsink fan combo unit pops off once we remove some screws and the right speaker and Surface Connect port are both modular. To get the motherboard out, we need to remove even more metal shields that hide the screws securing the board to the case and the display connectors. The motherboard is mostly free, but it looks like removing the left side speaker and the also modular headphone jack will give us the space to get it fully out of the case. On this board, you can see this Surface Laptop 3's quad-core 10th generation Intel Core i5 processor and the eight gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM. Removing the hinge screws, it's all that's left for us to take off the 13.5 inch PixelSense display. The display also works as a touchscreen and has a resolution of 2256 by 1504. We're left with the battery, which is firmly glued in place. With all the repairability upgrades in this model, we're surprised that there's no adhesive pull tabs here. That means battery removal will require the use of solvents and lots of messy prying, all of which is warned against right there on the battery. This battery is rated at 45.8 watt hours and is the exact same battery we found in the 15 inch version. With the latest version of the Surface Laptop fully disassembled, it's time to talk repairability. The Surface Laptop 3 scored a five out of 10. And here's why. On the upside, the opening procedure is straightforward with a clever design that represents a dramatic improvement over its predecessors. The M2 SSD is fully modular and easy to access. Torx Plus screws call for relatively rare drivers, but our standard Torx drivers worked in a pinch. Display access is well prioritized, but must be replaced as an expensive, complete unit. Subcomponents aren't modular. While many components are modular, intricate layered construction makes them difficult to service. And on the downside, the firmly glued down battery will be very difficult to service when it inevitably goes kaput. And before you go, if you haven't had a chance to check out all the things that were terrible about the Surface Laptop 1, check out our video teardown and watch us tear it to shreds.